Hey everyone, my name is Vea and I'm here planning my own magic into my everyday life. Thank you so much for joining me. This video is going to be an April monthly plan with me as well as my notes page and dashboard setup for my Erin Condren soft bound hourly. I'm going to be using my seasonal stickers from Erin Condren along with some extras for my stash and some DIY printed and cut stickers from Cricut Design Space that I made myself. So um, yeah, March just kind of flew by and smacked me in the face and kept it rolling. So I am not actually sitting down to do this sticker planning until April 1st. Today is Saturday, April 1st, and I'm just now sitting down to do this. But luckily, my lovely wife and I sat down and did all of our pre-planning. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen me post that um, little picture um, of us doing that. And I'm so glad we did because that will make this so much easier. If you're new to my channel, first of all, welcome. And if you look back at my previous monthly planning videos, I typically do the same thing just about every month. The structure of my setup has worked for me really well so far. So I'm going to be continuing the same thing. So I hope you'll find that inspiring and motivating for however you may want to start planning in your planner. I am going to be doing the notes page, or sorry, this is the dashboard page, this page, and um, my monthly at a glance, as well as the notes page prior to the month. And comment down below and let me know, do you consider this note page as a part of the previous month? or as a preface to the next month. Let me know down below how you use this page. Along with my stickers, I did pull some markers because I thought about maybe adding a little bit of color this month. I have some white out. Um, I have my trusty and do as always. And I also need a roller tape. So I have this roller tape. Um, and I think I pulled all the stickers that I wanted. Oh, and then these, these days of the week because I'm going to be redating them within a glance. So I am going to do a sped up plan with me, but I will check in after each section of my planning to kind of give you the, some insight into what I'm doing or what I did. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start this notes page and I'll be back to check in in a second. All right, so this is what I call my home project task manager checklist. <laughs> um, it's basically a, um, almost like a brain dump, just like a structured brain dump of things that I'm either currently working on or want to work on in my home or in my life with my family. This first box is always reserved for my monthly reset. And what I do is I write down things that we need to do in order to like do like a monthly check-in with family, home, etc. My wife and I sitting down and doing our pre-plan for the month is one of the tasks that goes in this section. And I will show you like an after the pin of my entire setup. I just don't tend to do those parts on camera because I need to think. But our monthly our monthly sit down planning is a part of this. Monthly budget is a part of this. Monthly planning is a part of this. And then there's just certain things that we do around our home that need to be done, you know, either monthly or every two months. And I'll write them in here and I'll kind of flip flop them. So this right here is just a huge help to remembering like when's the last time I you know, cleaned out the drains in, you know, the bathrooms and um, just stuff like that is what goes on here. And I check it off as we do it. And sometimes we do it at the beginning of the month. Sometimes we do it um, during the month and sometimes we do it at the end. It just depends on what the task is. And I love this to be a part of my monthly planning because as I put my actual plans in the month at a glance, that's when I can go in and kind of fill in and say, okay, like we need to change the filters according to our monthly reset list this is a good weekend that we can do that because we have nothing else really going on, you know, that particular Saturday morning. So that's my thinking behind this. And then when it comes to the projects, um, I'll put what it'll take for me to get this project accomplished. So a spring refresh, you know, there's purging of the clothes, there's switching out seasonal clothes, um, donating things. Um, there's also like, you know, some people do spring cleaning those types of things will go on this list and I'll check them off as I go it doesn't have to get done all in April 
and whatever I carry over will go into, you know, May and that's fine. But this will be the list of things that it would take for me to consider my spring refresh complete. The same thing with the garage and the mom cave. But the point is to have everything written down so that I don't have to keep trying to remember what else did I need for the garage? What else did I need for, you know, my mom cave refresh? I don't really decorate until the end when I know where I want all my decorative stickers. So other than these um, label stickers from Erin Condren, I don't put much else on here. I might write the task in purple this month, maybe, we'll see. But other than that, we're gonna move on to the month at a glance. Now for the month at a glance, I'll just explain really quickly before I start, I have all of my, you know, pre-planning stickers. I just used some Erin Condren um, sticky notes to pre-plan when we sat down together. And then I've whited out the dates and the days because I do redate my, um, my month at a glance from a Sunday to Saturday spread into a Monday to Sunday spread. So that's what I'll be doing. And then I'll basically just be swapping out these sticky notes for stickers. Right, checking back in after laying my stickers so every sticker represents something that was going on I just replaced you know the sticky notes with a sticker that I preferred um, and I tried to just kind of balance out the colors that the sticker sheets from Erin Condren were giving me minus the decor because I do the decorative stickers after I finish setting up for my whole month so a rule of thumb is I typically use like rigid stickers for things that are set in stone. So square and rectangle stickers. And then I use round stickers for things that are more like goal oriented or, you know, a fun event, something that we would like to attend, but we don't necessarily have to, um, etc. cetera. Um, because every sticker I have doesn't necessarily represent um, or symbolize exactly what we're doing. So I just go with shapes. That's just something I've learned to do to help me figure out how to actually use stickers in my spread. I know a lot of planners struggle with like, how do I use these stickers, you know, in my spread? Like, what do I do with them? There's so many stickers. So that's just a rule of thumb I like to always mention when I do these um, videos. I do get the Erin Condren seasonal sticker book every year when it comes out. And what you're seeing me use are these stickers mostly, but I also have some left over from previous um, versions of that book. So I have like stuff like this and little random stuff like this that I just pull from if I feel like it matches. So whatever's left over, I will always like save for the future. And um, over here is where I kind of put like a bucket list slash, you know, outing idea. Like I'll put ideas for outings that we can do this month, whether they're like seasonal or just something that we've heard about that we want to make sure we incorporate into our schedule. Um, for example, my wife has um, the Peter Pan Disney Plus release on here for the 28th. She has it on our calendar, so I would write something like that over here. So that's what I do in my sidebar on my monthly page if anybody is curious and looking for ideas and ways to use different aspects of their planner. I'm sorry, you guys, if you hear the construction, it's like impossible um, to film around the construction around my house these days. If I had to wait for them to not be doing work, it just would never happen. So. That's my check-in and again, I will show after the pin once I'm done with setting up everything else and I'm now gonna go into setting up my dashboard. So after the pen, as promised, I went ahead and filled in all of my different um, project, task manager, checklist thingies. Um, and I know that I already finished my pantry refresh, but there's one more thing coming from Amazon that I want to 
put in the pantry before I can say I'm officially done. So I still did carry that over from March. Um, and I just wrote down anything that I could think of that would be a part of these projects, transferred them over from March, like I said, and I'll just check them off as I go. Um, for example, we've already done our couple check-in and I just finished monthly planning and we also did our budget the other day when we did our check-in as well as our mail and filing. So yeah, that is how I use that um, project task manager checklist page. I don't know what to call this. Comment down below and let me know if there's something else that I can call this because I truly do not know what to call it besides that. Okay, monthly plans. I'm gonna leave one of our um, spaces over here blank to ask our son for an idea of something he would like to do this month. But for the most part, I try to fit in fun ideas that came to the top of my head. Um, we were supposed to visit our new park last month, but we didn't get around to it. So we're gonna try again this month. I decided to just write in black because I did have my colors elsewhere. I did this part in color, but yeah, so there's this. And then I have my dashboard pages. And this is what I use for memories. I basically add stickers using my Canon IV sticker photo printer. And I put the stickers down prematurely because I don't want to forget to, you know, save stickers to decorate because this is the page that I decorate um, the most with these types of stickers. So if I need to move them, I'll just like use my undo to move them to put a photo down and then put the sticker, you know, around it, however it will go. But I like to kind of put them there as placeholders. And then I have my dashboard, which probably contains the most diverse amount of information, um, but it's kind of like a resource page for me slash tracker slash reminder. So I just went ahead and put some work deadlines. I do use an Erin Condren teacher planner for work, but I like to put like main monthly deadlines in here so that I remember to prepare for them. I have my chore list. And of course I had to mess up and write Friday instead of Thursday on accident, but I just left it alone because I don't want to have to try to use whiteout and all that. So daily and weekly chores, AM and PM routine. Again, just to kind of, you know, write it down to instill the habit in my mind as much as possible. And then this is my currently tracker. This has probably been my favorite part of my monthly planning um, for a while now. And I've been making stickers in my Cricut Design Space to make it easier for me to do this every month. So these stickers were actually created by me in Cricut Design Space just by typing text and adding an offset. Um, if you're curious and you make your own stickers, this font is called, um, oh my gosh, is this the container? No, this is the one called Flannel Shirt. It's like Flannel Shirt Script or something like that. So I went ahead and put down some of the things that I'm still enjoying or watching and or reading right now. So I'm, I just started The War of Two Queens. Um, on Audible and I started to watch The Mandalorian again and this is um, these are some items that I've been loving right now some orange tea and the Javi coffee concentrate I'll typically put like a heart or a check mark or an X to indicate whether I like the book or not whether I want to continue the series or not and that just helps me so yeah, that was my monthly planning. I hope that you all found it inspirational. Of course, if you enjoyed this video or others like it, I would love it if you would become a part of my YouTube family by hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Happy planning, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.